Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We are in the Nether Hub. I do have a plan for the ceiling and actually the walls as well. The, the walls are going to kind of incorporate into the ceiling design. I think it'll be really cool. Uh, but we spent the last couple episodes working on the Nether Hub, and I think what I want to do is I want to finish the Nether Hub uh, with the ceiling and stuff like that uh, this weekend. Uh, because this weekend on Saturday is another Hermitcraft live stream day, and I'm streaming as part of that. So I think I will, uh, I'll finish it then. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but today, I want to do something completely different. I want to completely switch gears and go work on something that's not the Nether Hub. Something in the overworld, something that's a lot more cheerful and bright and happy. And that, my friends, is I want to work in a different district in a district that we have not yet uh, worked in at all over the course of this season. And that is the pirate district. So over here, Zombie Cleo has been working on uh, Tortuga, essentially. Pirate, think of it like Pirate Town, right? Um, not, uh, not just Pirate District, but Pirate Town, Tortuga. This is where all the pirates live. <laughs> And I actually want to do some work over here. I spoke with her first to make sure she was fine with it. And I'm going to build kind of in this area, build some houses and things like that to kind of uh, do a little bit of work over here, I think. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Also, I have to I, I have to mention this. So <laughs> uh, I think it was a couple days ago. Zombie Cleo put out a video called like the Hermunculus or something like that. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It was probably the funniest thing I've watched Hermitcraft related in a while. I have, I don't know. She has a very unique mind. There are things that that she comes up with and says and does that I'm just like, yeah, where do you come up with this stuff, Cleo? And more importantly, how do you keep a straight face when you're actually watching these videos? <laughs> so so if you have not yet seen the Hermunculus episode that Cleo put out, go, go do that. Um, in fact, why don't you go do that right now? I'm going to gather some resources and things so we can get started over here. And while I'm doing that, you can go watch her video. All right, guys, I am back. I think I've got everything together that I'm going to need to at least get started with this. Um, I can always run back to my storage room and grab more resources if I need to. Uh, but the very first thing I need to do is pick and, well, is, is prepare the area where we're going to be working. I think I want to build it essentially like right in here. So it looks like what Cleo has done, and I, and I don't want to mess with what Cleo's done. Um, and I mean, as I said, I did talk with her and she's totally cool with me building some stuff very, very close by. I did say, hey, I want to work on Tortuga. Is that OK? And she said, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Um, but I want to kind of it looks like she's got this kind of like river kind of coming out here uh, that leads out into the ocean. And I don't think I, I want to keep that. I don't want this. To, I, I don't want to turn this into a road or a gateway, um, but I want to build fairly close to that. And I think the best thing to do is basically get rid of this hill because this, kind of, this is a really weird shape. And it's also very strange that like the walls are up this high, but from on top of this hill, you'd actually be able to shoot down at the walls <laughs> like that completely breaks uh the the like science of fortifications that you, you would never build a wall uh down below a nearby hill you would always build it up so i think what we'll do is like roughly here ish or so we'll start sort of transitioning this hill down uh at, at kind of like a gradual slope so that ultimately it ends mostly down at about this level and it's and it's relatively flat. Like, I don't want it to be super, super flat because uh, then it will look very unnatural, but I want it to be flatter than it is. Uh, and then it will also give us the ability later to kind of build houses at multiple elevations. So I'm going to get this kind of terraformed and then I will be back with you in just a minute. OK, so I've been planning for these houses. I've been planning these out. And we're going to do something a little bit different here. <laughs> Welcome to the Google. This is the Google. One thing that I very rarely show on camera, in fact, I don't know if I've ever shown it on camera, is 
kind of the research and preparation process. I've shown like planning and stuff like that, but I want to show a little bit of this because it's actually a lot more tricky to build a Tortuga pirate village house than you might think in Minecraft. And here's why. If we search for like uh, colonial Caribbean architecture, right? We look at some images. We have some options. There's some things that pop up. Something like, I mean, we're really looking for something. Well, this isn't really what we need. Uh, let's just look for colonial architecture, because most of the architecture in like a Tortuga would have been um, in a colony of either Spain or Britain or whatever. So what we're looking for is something probably, probably something kind of like, I mean, none of this is really showing me what I want either. So maybe we look for this. Maybe we look for, like, Pirate Town. And we look at pictures, and we're like, oh, okay, we have some stuff here. So maybe we look at, like, this. Okay, well, there's some stuff, and this looks pretty good. The problem is, a lot of this architecture honestly looks pretty medieval. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's uh, waddle and daub timber framed houses like this for example that's very medieval looking and it's kind of hard to kind of differentiate something like this from say just like a medieval Tudor house Right? Like, look at this. This is a, this is uh, what Google says a medieval Tudor house looks like. Something along these lines. See the timber frames? What, the white waddle and daub? And then you go back to, like, Pirate Village. And you look at... Or what did we put in before? Pirate Town? And you go back to these... Why waddle and daub? Timber framed? I mean, <laughs> they're basically the same house. <laughs> Except one has palm trees around it. And that's a, a real challenge for this build style. If we look at, like, um, Colonial Tortuga, uh, that's not really showing us what we need. Um, Tortuga Pirates like this maybe maybe we look at some of these different houses and there's some stuff here but like a lot of this is just very very similar to medieval or it's very flat and that's not a style that translates into minecraft uh very well at all because flat builds and actually like a lot of colonial houses colonial architecture if you look at a lot of these these are very flat houses and very flat houses do not translate very well into Minecraft because it's hard to get that stuff right. So what I need to do, ultimately the challenge here, is going to be to find a way to design some houses that look good, but that are also reminiscent of the style that we want, of this kind of like colonial Caribbean architecture style. And then on top of that, uh, don't look like something that would be built in the medieval district. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but uh, I'm going to give it a try. All right, guys, I am back. I've done uh, some stuff and I think I've come up with a design that'll work. It's going to be, I don't know. I think it still looks a little bit too um, Tudor-esque for my taste, but it's the best that I could come up with. And I've been trying to come up with something for a while now. Um, <laughs> So let's kind of do some of this together. Where's all my oak? Here we go. Let's grab that. My plan here is essentially to make um, a house or a, a structure that will go up here. It's going to be, think of it like townhouses. We're going to have uh, essentially three separate houses um, going right here. And I think it'll actually look pretty good once it's all done. So this is going to be our floor level right here. I'm going to basically bring that out so we can like properly 
mark this or whatever. And we're just gonna do, is it really about to be night right now? Also, why do I not have clouds? I feel like I should have clouds in the sky. There we go, that's a little better. And it is totally going to be night. Why does it always, also, dock? No, no love, no love for me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's AFK. No, he's not AFK. Just ignoring me. All right, Doc, I see how it is. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, he probably didn't even see my message. But anyway, so let's kind of work on this front area a little bit. If this is our floor, we probably want to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking something along those lines. And we'll build this up as well. And we'll just kind of go up to, like, right here. Is that right? There. Something like that. And then we'll go up and over, because this is our door. And if this is our door, then this is our window, right? Because we'll have a window here, door there, and then floor level of the next section or whatever would be up here. And I'm going to take some oak stairs or some oak some oak full blocks like this and we'll just bring that all the way over to right there? Right there. Okay. So something like that should work. Then we can go back to these guys and bring these up to where they need to go because we know now how, how high up we need to make this. I think something like that should do. And then we'll probably want to go full blocks again up here. And this is essentially going to become like a little balcony. And I think this is what's going to sort of separate it. Oh, there's a elevation change there I didn't see. I think this is what's going to sort of separate it from like a more traditional kind of medieval Tudor style. Because, I mean, as I showed you in those pictures from Google, um, the styles are very similar. I mean, it's, it's bottle and daub. <laughs> so you're talking two houses the you know timber framed waddle and daub looks a very specific way and uh, I mean yeah we're using slightly different colors here we're using more like pastel colors with the, the hardened clay but it's still gonna be kind of that same timber framed waddle and daub semi medieval feel and that's just I mean that there's not much you could do about it <laughs> that's how it looked you know um, so let's do something like this, I think. It should be fine. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good height. Um, and then, one thing that I've noticed that Cleo is doing over here is that for most of her pathways, she seems to be using a lot of spruce trap doors. So we're going to kind of follow suit. Uh, we're going to kind of build on that idea. Uh, that she has been implementing, because that's kind of the whole idea of this, like, collaborative season, right? Is is everyone's... Wow. Trapdoors are so expensive. Why are trapdoors so expensive? There's one of Minecraft's many mysteries, right? How come you do this, six spruce planks, and you get three full spruce doors... Which are two, uh, I mean, uh, look at, look at this, right? You do that. That is essentially a spruce door. I feel like you should get, when you do the trapdoor recipe, instead of two spruce trapdoors, I really feel like you should get six. <laughs> like, that should be a thing. Just math-wise, like, why is that not a thing? I don't know. Anyway. We're going to put down some spruce trap doors down here. And yeah, we'll probably bring those all the way over. I might actually not have enough. <laughs> I just made like an entire wood stack 
worth of spruce trap doors, suddenly I have an appreciation for how much grinding Cleo has done to get this many spruce trap doors. Because these things are absurdly expensive. Uh, anyway, um, so something along these lines I think could look good. We may want to bring those out one more. I'm I'm out. I'm out of spruce trap doors. Okay. Let's make more. They will get used. We're going to be using them um, a fair bit in this build. Not an excessive amount, but we're going to be using them quite a bit, so this is fine. We'll go like this. And this is like our little pathway there. Okay, so that all looks fine. Uh, we'll still need a way up, and for that we could probably go like spruce stairs. That or spruce slabs. I'm not entirely sure yet which I want to do. If we do stairs, maybe we want to do this. Something like that doesn't look too bad. We could do like in the center of each of these. Something like that to kind of get you up on uh, up above. And then here we. Mm, I don't like that. Yeah, that's no bueno. What about that? Yeah, that's not bad. That could work. So we do our stairs, we do our slabs. That also gives us a nice little bit of separation and depth, which I think is good. Uh, this one's going to be a little funky just because of how far over it is, but I think we can still make that work. I need more spruce. There we go. And... There. And then finally, we wanted... Something like that. And that actually looks good, I think. I'm, like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, you could look at doing, um, like, some railings and stuff along here, but I don't think you want to. I think we want to save that for the second story. Uh, speaking of which... Let's go ahead and make a bunch of fences as well. And also, I need some of this and some of these bone blocks. And that way we can make some gray dye and some light gray dye, I think. I think that'll be enough, honestly. We only need probably, like... If I'm just doing the front facade right now, and by the way, I'm just doing the front facade right now, um, we probably only need, like, this much. This should be fine. Get, like, two stacks of white. Like so. Um, you know what? We might as well turn the rest of that into light gray, because I'm not actually using regular gray at all. So we got two stacks of, of uh, light gray, two stacks of white. And then we'll get two stacks of just regular. And that should be fine for the moment. I do still need some more spruce stairs. There we go. We've got our fences. Yeah, I think. Oh, uh, actually, let's do this. Let's just grab some of these and grab our crafting bench with this as well. Okay, so if we head up here, first things first, we're going to put a bunch of these fences in place like so. And we'll go like this and up here. Uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of of that one, and uh, I think 
think I'll leave that one, probably. Yeah, I think I'll probably leave that one alone. Um, but we're gonna have, on this side of the build, we'll have, like, a staircase that'll lead up to the second floor. Oh, I still need to do all this stuff, don't I? Okay. Um, that's fine. Tell you what. Give me my spruce stairs. Go boop. And a boop. Oh. Okay. You go there. That one goes here. Um, I mean, ultimately, this is going to get swapped out for whatever flora block we go with, so... I'm okay with that. Okay, that all looks fine. Uh, yep. Here. And again. One, two, um, two. And there. Those are our windows. So then this is gonna have to go up high enough. To cover that. How much uh, oak do I have? Enough. Uh, we should be fine. So we'll bring that up. Like this. And that one too. Oh, and we gotta do these. And I also need those to go in here, because we're going to have windows. Something like that. I think that looks at least passable. Let's uh, sleep real quick. Yeah! Yeah, that's starting to kind of come together, I think. Starting to look all right. Um... And then I probably don't need more than a single stack of these at the moment. So we can get rid of all the extra stuff. Okay. Well, there we go. We can put our bones in here and our extra dye and all that kind of stuff. The grass and sand can go in there. I've got a crafting bench. Might as well take those first. Let's do something like that. And now we get to start working on the roof. Whoa, what? Hi. Where'd you come from? Well, I mean, obviously you came from over there. But anyway, now we get to start working on the roof shape of this. And this should be interesting. <laughs> so I think we want to do like a half block incline, like a slab roof here. So let's go right there. Is that what we want to do? No, 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 no. Well, maybe. If that would be here, then this one would kind of come out. And this is essentially a full block now. And then over here... Something like that. No, 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 just kidding. This goes up right there. And like, it won't all be completely mob safe, but like, that's fine. That's totally okay. Okay, good, good, good. And then that'll go there. And then this will essentially work its way all the way over, right? And same on that side. And then we'll basically do the same thing, but with oak slabs and up at this level, I think. So that'll kind of come over and just basically follow the outline. Oop. 
Almost done. And we're starting to finally get a little bit of like a townhouse feel here, which is what we're going for. So this is actually working out. We're getting there. It's not perfect, but progress is being made. If we come over here now and look at it, it's like, oh, look, there's actually a thing that's being formed over there, and it's starting to resemble something moderately piratey. So this is good. All right, I'm going to do a bit more work on this, and I shall return. All right, guys, I am back, and I think we've got it mostly done, except for the interior, which I'm not going to tackle today. Um, but it's finished, I think. The outer porch is looking okay, the upper deck and all this kind of stuff. I got all the windows in place. Uh, the, the windows and the sides are very kind of plain. Um, I mean, it's very, very patterned. There's lots of windows. They're very symmetrical and all this other kind of stuff. But honestly, like, if you look at houses and stuff from that time period, that kind of colonial architecture style, that's kind of what it looked like. Like, as I said, a lot of this stuff doesn't necessarily translate into Minecraft super well in a way that looks good. So uh, there's a couple of things we can kind of do to help with that a little bit. And I may come back to this uh, maybe next episode or something and do a bit more with it. Um, but I think to start with, let's build this up to here. Let's get rid of that. Make a few more of these. And what we're gonna do here is make a staircase that goes down. So we'll go boop, 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 and boop, like so. Put that here. We'll end up putting spruce fences along there. And then right here, we'll have a two wide staircase that'll kind of come down along the side of the house like this. That also means that these windows right here will go, but that's fine. We don't necessarily need them and I don't think the house will look I mean, with with how symmetrical and patterned everything is right now, like, I don't think it's a... I, I think it's actually good to kind of break that up and do something a little bit different, at least somewhere on the house. Uh, that's the kind of downside to this whole style. Um, but let's go ahead and just make... There we go. A few more oak stairs. And we'll go... Do, 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 do. And let's see, there's two. So let's put one more set of logs like here. Something like that, I think. Like it doesn't have to go up super, super high, but just enough. Yeah, maybe like that. Or maybe, you know what, let's um, Let's make a couple of oak bark blocks real quick. Maybe we do that. And then we'll go like here, here. And you, uh, not, not you, <laughs> and there. Maybe something along these lines with a little bit of spruce coming up underneath like that. And then when we go and grab some uh, spruce fences. We can say like fence, 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 and then like this. And then we'll just make a few more of these. Doesn't have to be anything major, just a couple. We'll go boop, boop, and was it this one? Yeah, that one right there. Turn that into a a full bark block as well. And it's okay that, like, the, the grain of the wood is going a slightly different way on some of these. Like, I think that's fine. Maybe we'll change it up a little bit, though, just so it all matches, because I think it was just that one block. Yeah, this seems okay. I think this is, this is good. Something along those lines. Oh, and there needs to be a spruce fence right there. 
So there's like our railing going up. And that'll lead you up here to the top floor. And then we're going to need some torches. So let's maybe put torches just on each of those as little like lights or whatever. And that's kind of, uh, I think that's a good start. Like that's a good place to kind of leave it for now. There's a way up. Um, and it leaves kind of it kind of paves the way for some more stuff in the future Maybe we'll come back here and do some other stuff. I want to build a few of these houses um, And or well not necessarily this exact one, but kind of in this same general style uh, And kind of help expand Tortuga and make it uh, a lot bigger as time goes on but unfortunately, guys, I'm out of time for this episode, so I think I gotta call this one right here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.